Hey, kitties! It's me, Mr. Bubble! <laughs> Got Bubble, that is. I like to help people remember things. I just remembered I want to tell you about my friend Gary Smith. He's a missionary living in Montreal. It's a big city just north of New York in Canada. It's Gary's job to help start Southern Baptist churches all over Eastern Canada. He's really busy, so I have to help him remember a lot of things. But there's one thing he never forgets, and that's how much Jesus loves him. He wants everyone in Montreal to hear that good news. Montreal is the largest city in North America where the fewest amount of followers of Jesus Christ live. Many of the people living in Montreal are from the Quebecois people group. Their native language is French. Imagine growing up and not ever going to church or Sunday school. That's what it's like for lots of people in Montreal. Gary hopes to change that. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. It's Renaissance Church. I know what you're thinking. Mr. Bubble is wrong. Nope. Actually, the church meets in a movie theater. Gary helped start the church several years ago. It's fun coming to a church service at Renaissance. There's lots of lively music. We have a band with guitars and keyboards and drums, and it's very, very fun music. There's a special time during the church service that means a lot to Gary. It's called the Lord's Supper, or Communion. The night before Jesus died on the cross, he had supper with his disciples. He wanted to leave a reminder with them of the sacrifice he was making for everyone. He broke bread to represent his broken body on the cross, and he poured wine to represent his blood that he shed for all our sins. Now Christians all over the world remember Jesus' sacrifice each time they take the Lord's Supper. When Jesus was talking about what we should experience when we take communion, there was one word that he kept saying. He kept saying, remember me. We bring such delight to him when we do what he asks. And one way that we really obey him is that we remember what he did for us. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let Gary, his wife Sue, and all of their kids obey Jesus by serving others in their community. Today they are passing out boxes of food and sharing God's love with people. This is Frida, a lady they just met. She's really sick right now, and Gary and his family want to show her God's love. Joshua, would you want to pray for Frida? Could you do that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. God. And my son got to go over and place his arm on her shoulder and pray for her, that God would heal her and that he would bless her. And that was a special, special thing. That may have been the most joy she has had in months, maybe years, right there in that room today. Merry Christmas. Bringing joy to others and loving them is what Jesus did all the time. Gary's kids love to join their mom and dad and serve people of all ages. It's how they show God's love. We take our kids into the nursing home to love these senior people that are cooped up in this home where they rarely get to see kids. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We get to go and do this program for them and sing for them, and it brings them so much joy and happiness. Just remember, you may be a little kid, but God can use you in big ways. You can serve others no matter how old you are. You need to be willing to say, Jesus, I'll do whatever you may ask. And I tell you, it would be the greatest life you ever lived to be able to say, Jesus, I'll do whatever you may ask, and I'll go wherever you may want me to go. God's going to use you to change the world.